Hi, this is Jackie Rainford, and welcome to the Badass Superstar Selling Show. Hey, you can click on subscribe and watch us on YouTube, LinkedIn, or Facebook. Hello everyone, it's Jackie Rainforth with Badass Superstar Selling and Mr. Shane Wenzel from Shane Holmes Group of Companies. Now you guys, this is great because Shane is the social selling guru. He, this guy was on social media before anybody. I mean, I heard about him on social media when people are going, what is social media? Huh? Uh huh? Uh huh? And you know, it was like, oh yeah, oh yeah. He was my inspiration. I know for those of you who follow me on LinkedIn, this is the guy that started it for me. So just so you know, yeah, it's him. Yes, it is. Uh huh. It's true. Anyway, we're going to talk about social selling today because it is all the rage. We know it's mm -hmm. all about selling on social media today. Yeah. Online selling for those of you who don't know what that is or virtual selling um, with, of course, COVID, the lockdown, it has amped everything up 10 times more than we were ever expecting. But we want to ask him the big question. What is your number one tick off when it comes to social selling? got that first message of, you know, we've connected now. Oh, here's the sales pitch. Mm, doesn't that just drive you crazy? That drives me absolutely insane. How many times do you get that a week? Oh, God. oh I know. I, I get that probably four or five times a day. So guaranteed wow. about 20 times a week. It's crazy. And, and people under and people don't seem to understand why I won't engage. Most people wouldn't. No. And I guess the best way to uh, to relate it, Jackie, is you know you had said it earlier. You're at a networking event. Yes. Okay. Well, if you were at a networking event, do you just walk around that event throwing business cards at people? Yeah. Walking around with an advertisement pinned to your chest, you don't say a word to them other than bye. <laughs> or, or better yet. Buy my product, buy my product, buy yeah. my product. <laughs> right. You know, and you just, you sit there and say like, okay, come on. I mean, a lot of this is, you know, what, what we do on social is applicable, you know, even, even that way, you know, how we would conduct ourselves in real life. Mm -hmm. And I'm just floored by people that do this. And, you know, the attitude is mass message, mass message, and you'll close X amount of, but did anybody ever think you're going to piss more people off than anything? I know. You're going to lose that connection. They're going to tell people not to connect with you. Yeah. You lose. Right. More than you win. Right. Okay. And you never foster anything past that initial sale if you get it. Exactly. So let's talk about what should people do? What <laughs> are the things that people should do when they are trying to build relationships? Let's face it. LinkedIn now is the cold calling, right? When you yeah. do traditional door knocking, knock, knock, knock on doors, 2.3%. Mm, that's your success rate. When you do traditional, you know, like regular cold calling, picking up the phone, hello, Mr. Customer, how are you today? Da, 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 da. 13% success rate. Social selling is now on LinkedIn is now the new cold calling. They have a million new users a month. It is really important that you get this people. People who sell online, create 78% more income than those who don't. It's important. True. And Mr. Shane Wenzel, who is the guru. Ah, so good, so good. Oh, this guy is social media king, you guys. He's gonna explain to you what is important about social selling and what you should be doing. I think the easiest way to start is you wanna be your authentic self. Yes. You know, so I mean, if you're gonna make a connection with somebody at least send a personalized message. Don't just send a connection request, you know, sit there and say, I've seen some of your stuff. I've read some of your stuff. Uh, I would love to be able to connect, mm -hmm. but not unlike, you know, face to face selling. You're, you're creating that relationship with the customer for a long time. So you might not even start off with the selling message, but you can jump in on the conversation on any of their posts and add your two cents because we're all human beings, right? Mm -hmm. You know, we, mm -hmm. we, we might have kids in school, we might have kids in sports. Uh, you know, we, we could be married, we could be single, we could be traveling, we could be doing a lot of things that everybody else does. I mean, there's ways to relate to people, but even in a networking event, yeah, you're going to start with, you know, hey, the weather's a shit. Oh, the flames <laughs> are out of the playoffs again. Yeah. Uh, surface talk. That yes. surface talk, yes. you know, and then you might, you know, might, you should get into, you know, Jackie, what makes you tick? 
What makes what you, makes you get up every day? You know, like Sally. getting to some real conversations, right? <laughs> yeah. And I'm amazed yeah. how many people don't do it, but that is yeah. the proper way to start in my mind. If you're trying to build, you know, and we've heard it in many sales courses over the years, I've heard it over 30 years, you know, that million dollar customer. Well, how do you get to the million dollar customer is you create that relationship. They become almost pseudo friends after all of this. Mm -hmm. They give you referrals. You know, they come back as repeat buyers. Wouldn't you want that? Yes. Rather than just a quick transactional sale. Yes. You're trying to reciprocate. Yes. That's what's important. Right. It really is. And, and you know, it, it is about building the relationship. And that's what's really important. It, it's finding something, even if you review their LinkedIn portfolio, you know, and take mm -hmm. or their profile and look at it and say, hey, you know, find something in common. Give them a compliment or, yeah. you know, find, find something, some sort of commonality like you would in regular selling where you've got, you can build that rapport where you can, you know, have something nice to mm -hmm. say or, you know, something so that you can have that and start with the conversation there. The other thing you can do is you can like, you can share, you can engage, you can make comments, you can endorse them. I mean, there's so many things, sure. but it's important. And like you say, it's just like having a regular conversation with mm -hmm. someone. Absolutely. That's the important thing. And, and so you develop the relationship. Yeah, absolutely. So let's talk about the posts that you put out. Let's talk about those because you put out some great stuff. I saw a poll the other day. Mm -hmm. Talk about your poll. I love the polls because I'm a numbers geek. Oh. You know, remember, I, remember I mentioned market research and how yeah. important it is to your company. Well, this one's maybe not as important to the company, <laughs> okay. but when you're asked, you know, I, I just, I love the idea of polls because you get perspective from people and it helps you gauge where the mindset's at. Yes. So the poll the other day was, you know, would you, would you get the, the vaccine? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, there's, there's a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of controversy there. Uh, you know, I've seen, I think 112 likes, uh, you know, three over 3,200 votes and about 350 comments and it's split, mm. you know, some are unsure, you know, mo uh, a number of them are, uh, are saying no. And, uh, you know, yeah. and some of them are saying, well, yeah, I just get it automatically. I mean, I want to be, I want to be safe. And it's fun to do those polls because then you can gauge what, where people are at. Yes. It's interesting to me and is it valuable? Well, yeah, I mean, to me, you know, yeah. the, the commonality in all the comments is that, you know, people are concerned, but you know, if they have to get back to travel, then that's what they'll do. And a number of people mention travel. Well, I mean, that's on people's minds. That's actually valuable information to me because it could be a quiet summer because most people are going for what uh, what I've read and I love is revenge travel. Revenge travel. Revenge travel. I haven't heard that. Yeah, you know, we That's... didn't get it last year. We're going to get our revenge this year. <laughs> revenge this year. So, okay. But it's interesting to do those polls and gauge yeah. where, where people's mindsets are at. Yeah, you know, yeah. It's somewhat unscientific, but you know, that's yeah. the uh, that's the social listening you hear so much about. Well, and I think it's important too, if you are, you know, if you're building up your own brand as a go-to industry expert, you know, you can use those polls to find out where your clients are at. You know, oh, yeah. find out, you know, maybe it is about big windows, like we talked about in the mm -hmm. earlier segment, you know, what is, what is your, your customer looking for? What is it that's important to them? Like you yes. say, your market research, you can use those polls. You can, you know, and, and what's interesting is that your customers are watching and they're watching those mm -hmm. polls. They're looking at that information. Sure they are. They're looking they're at the They're participating in it. Right. So let me ask you, how do you think you get higher engagement? You know, I'm a sales expert, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Most people do not want to let other people know that they're watching sales tips or that they're, <laughs> right? Uh, 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 sales people are not gonna say, oh, I'm watching Jackie and I'm, lo I'm following all her sales tips, right? They don't, they don't want to let anybody know that they're doing that. How do you think you, you increase engagement? I mean, well, I mean, it's going to come down to the content that you post. Yeah, yeah. It depends on, uh, to me, it depends a lot on how how you engage people. They don't call right. it social media for nothing. For nothing, right. You know, right. Or they would just call it media posting and advertising. Yeah. Social, the key there being have a conversation with people. Right. I mean, if they took the time to respond to your post, the least you could do is respond to their comment. 
Absolutely, and that's a very important thing. You know, if people are liking, making comments, whatever, you need to be responding back. It's very mm -hmm. important. Even if it's, hey, thank you for liking my post or thank you for sharing. Yes. Um, you know, especially sharing, like, you know, you think it's just a share, but when it comes to your SEO ranking, sharing actually, you know, you get points for liking, commenting, and sharing. Mm -hmm. When someone shares your post, you get more points for that than anything, just so you know. Yeah. Uh, so it's very important that <laughs> when you get a share, that's big points in your SEO just so you know. But uh, it's very important that you always respond back. And interesting that you say that because there are posts when I do social posts as well, you know, I'll get thousands of responses. And, yes. you know, like I did one the other day and, you know, sometimes I'll do Simon Sanic and I'll do, you know, those types of non-salesy but but you know but valuable kind of, i mean aligning yeah. with your brand yes yes those types of posts i get thousands of responses but you know the sales tips uh not you know people people read them but they're you know and i do get likes they read things, them they watch them they, they may do not but like they them. don't quite you know put themselves out don't there for give those jackie things. anymore <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll get private messages, but yes. I don't get, you know. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. And I mean, that's important. At least they're watching. They're You're doing watching. something right. They're, they are, yeah, they're watching, <laughs> they're watching. So anyway, but uh, yeah, social selling is becoming huge. Talk to me about your company and training what you're doing with your staff because it's, COVID has changed everything for your company, right? And how the numbers coming into the show homes and how that's changed, how you've had to adapt and pivot. Well, that was the biggest thing, uh, you know, going back last March, uh, you know, we go into our first lockdown and we don't have foot traffic to the show homes. Now, fortunately, we already had an online presence, you know, social media presence. We had our salespeople already uh, already started on, uh, on learning social media, primarily Facebook and, and LinkedIn. But now this is reality. You're not getting the foot traffic. So how do you find the customers? Because people are still willing to buy they're just scared as hell to come out of their house. They don't know why, they've never experienced this before. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, so they had to kick it into high gear. Uh, even our marketing team had to kick it into high gear because now it's like, oh, well, we need to do more than just pretty photos of houses and kitchens and en suites. Now, we gotta do video. We gotta tell people why they should go out and you know, we gotta do virtual grand opening tours of our show homes because people aren't coming out to the grand openings. Quick pivot, quick, quick change. Quick pivot, yes, uh, yes, you know, yeah. they even hit me up too. They said, you know, can you do more? I said, what? <laughs> like what? I want you to, we want you to do more video. You want, we want you to support the company. I said, well, okay, challenge accepted. I'm not as busy either. <laughs> yeah. More but content. More content. More well, content. And, and yeah, it's funny you mentioned that because that, that was the new mm. word around the office is content, mm -hmm. content, content. Yeah. And you're right. I mean, we, uh, we're, we're good at communicating, but we're shitty at communicating in a sense because we're not telling people what we're doing every day because we don't, we find it every, that it's just everyday activities. They find it interesting because it's insight into what's Shane Holmes on? and what's going on behind here. Behind the scenes. The people behind the scenes, you know, yes. the uh, goings on, you know, how does the house come together? Uh, uh, you know, and, and in lots of ways, you know, like it it's a process internally. That's what people really want to know more sure. than anything. They want to know who are the people behind the company? How mm -hmm. does it, what are, you know, it's it's like the, the tours behind, right? Like, mm -hmm. you know, you go on a cruise, what's, what's it like behind? What's sure. the laundry like? What's the kitchen like? What's the, right? What, yeah. are, the, what are the rooms like for the staff? You know, it's, it's that stuff. What's behind? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But well, that's where reality shows come from. That's, right, you know, you know, yeah. Behind the scenes, you know, and yeah. that's uh, that's important to people to see. So we had, I don't want to use it, but I'm going to use it this time. We had to pivot. You had to pivot. We had to pivot. I know, the big word, pivot. Yes. The pivot. But you know, true. So it, we had to pivot. This and was the year. You know, so, uh, you know, and basically what it did is it, you know, it took a, it took a two-year plan and condensed it down to six months and it took our... <laughs> Four-year plan and condensed it down to the next two years. But look, we had you. to. And tell us about those customers that actually purchased. That was interesting and exciting. Uh, That's amazing. I've always thought that we could get to that point at at, at some time point in time. Mm -hmm. uh, but we had customers, and you know, admittedly, they're scared. 
you know, they don't know what they're dealing with. They're, uh, they're dealing with the pandemic. So we actually had two customers buy completely online. And they never they never went to the show home once. They never came to the design center once. They did everything through Zoom, electronic documentation, right down to our interior designer walking around the design center with an iPad, that helping is, them select colors. And and you build custom homes. Yes. Like that is amazing. Like that is amazing. And this is the future. When you think about it, this is the future of this is the future of everything. This sure is, it is. You know, to think that this has happened, that people are buying homes, custom built homes mm -hmm. online without ever walking into your company, into a show home. I mean, it's talk about an experience. That's okay. an experience. So and you, to you think can understand went, the research geek in me. Oh, Just yeah. Brains exploding. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's amazing. Like, talk about a better way to build. Mm -hmm. Like, that. And, and to think, you know, when you go back to the other segments and you talk about the vision and process and being ahead and change mm -hmm. and all of the things, you know, your culture, how you set that up so that you were ready for this. I mean, that's just amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. And, and to have your, your team, you talk about the people, having your team ready for something like this. Well, having your team I mean, ready to do it, uh, you know, but ready to challenge everyone else and just ready to take on the challenge of we're going to do this. And differentiation. I mean, mm -hmm. how many companies out there can do that? Like, uh, not many, uh, no. not many. Again, you know, we talked about, you know, talked about that earlier with, you know, the, uh, the leadership structure and, you know, mm -hmm. that top down leadership. Yes. That doesn't work. No. That doesn't work moving forward. If, if, if you're not collaborating, then, right. you know, you're only going to be that successful. Right. Wow. Wow. Well, here it is, folks. I tell you, this has been the most incredible, incredible interview with Shane Wenzel from Shane Holmes Group of Companies. And I tell you, it all fits together like a beautiful puzzle. I mean, the leadership, the the, the family, the companies, the, the social media, the leadership, the superstar, the employees, the process, the culture. I mean, everything, everything that we've talked about in this entire, entire series, it all just comes together as a beautiful package. Thank you so much for this. And again, where can everyone get a hold of you? Just online. Just online. Just online. Shanehomes.com. Shanehomes.com. And if you want an extra special little peek into Shane and what he's up to, he's also in, on, he writes an article for Business in Calgary, <laughs> right? Yes, I do. A monthly article. So you want to check him out, Business in Calgary as well. Feel free. We are at YYC Calgary Business Megapix Media. Again, Jackie Rainforth and Shane Wenzel from uh, Badass Superstar Selling. Thank you again for joining us. Jackie, thank you. Take care, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Listen, if you know someone that you think would make a great guest for our show, please click on the link below. And thank you for watching our show. Subscribe to our channel to make sure you never miss a thing.